Hey guys, um, I've had a lot of people ask me, so I thought I'd make a quick tutorial video showing you guys exactly how I go about making my Metallica guitar tones. Now, the way I'm going to do this today is using all three plugins uh, you guys can grab, so um, I'll drop some links down below. So a couple of things you'll need is your guitar, obviously, um, some kind of audio interface to connect your guitar into your computer. So I'm going to be using Apogee's One, which is a great little audio interface and also a DAW, uh, just for this video, I'm gonna be using Logic Pro X. So here we are in Logic, um, here's my guitar here. Um, so this is just the dry signal going straight in, um, coming out clean, so I'll let you guys hear what that sounds like. All right, cool, so let's get into building this tone. So the first thing we're gonna do is come across to our audio effects here. Uh, we're going to drop in a distortion pedal, so let's go find it. TSC Audio makes a really good one, the 808, so I'm going to click that and load it up. So there it is there. Um, first thing we're going to do is pull the tone right to the top, and uh, just leave everything else as it is, and we can come back to it later. So here's what our signal sounds like now. Awesome, so the next thing we need in our chain is an amplifier. Uh, let's go into our amps here. Uh, Lapau, Lapu, Lapau, don't know how to pronounce that. Um, he makes a lot of really great amps. Um, my personal favorite is actually the Emissary by Ignite, so I'm going to be using that today. So here's the Emissary here, looking badass. Um, I'm just going to switch the channel over to our distortion channel, which is what we want, and we'll hear what that sounds like so far. Um, I'm just going to turn this down a bit because it does get really loud at this point. Alright cool, so we're halfway there. Um, it doesn't sound too great at the moment. Uh, this next step is where the magic's really going to happen. So, what we need to do now is uh, we have our clean guitar going straight into our stomp box, which is going into our amp simulator. And now we need a cabinet. So we're going to go down to our cabinets here. Going to go back to Lapau, who makes a really good cabinet simulator. And let's load up Lee Cab. So as you can see here, um, here's our cabinet. We have our left speaker and our right speaker. Um, so what we need to do now is load some impulse responses into our cabinet. So basically uh, what an impulse response is, is uh, a small uh, sound file, which is uh, taking the EQ settings, the mic placement, uh, the room feel, everything you can think of that a cabinet would be producing. Uh, it's like someone's recorded a snippet of what it's producing and put it into a little audio file. So what you're going to do is load up those impulses, those impulse responses into our cabinet which will make our signal sound like the tone we're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my impulse response pack here. Uh, this is the Metallica pack that I found. Um, let's go ahead and load uh, Master of Puppets just for the purpose of this video and we'll, we'll see how we go with that one. So there's our tone there. Um, it's coming out of only the left speaker at the moment. So what we can do is press this little button in the middle and that's going to send it to our right speaker as well, so we can have a massive guitar tone. So let's see what that sounds like just now by itself. Alright, so that sounds pretty good so far. Um, this is the fun part, and this is where you know you can spend hours and hours just playing with all this stuff. But this is what I do first. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is drop a noise gate in front of uh, in front of everything, just to take out um, some of the just random sounds that will come through with all the high gain and stuff we're using. So I'm going to drop that on there, and we'll just uh, just leave it at stock standard, which is usually pretty good. Next thing I'll do is come down and open up an EQ. Um, if you're a Metallica fan, you'll know that you know they're pretty infamous for 
scooping their meds um, around the justice era and stuff, Master of Puppets as well, maybe. So I'm just going to put a little uh, a little dip here at 500k and um, also a low cut just to take out some of the wobbly bass frequencies that we don't want. And we'll see what that sounds like now. That's pretty much it guys, um, we just created a pretty good uh, Master of Puppets tone just in a few minutes using these free plugins. Now um, obviously you'll go back, you can add uh, compressors, you can go back into uh, Emissary and uh, start playing around with all these knobs, you know. You gotta treat it like a real life rig, you know what I mean? Like you wouldn't leave um, all these knobs at 12 o'clock, you would go back and play with your gain, play with your bass, your treble, your mids, and all that, you know, to try and get those tones. So um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is um, play some uh, some stuff that I recorded earlier. Um, these are two guitars, double tracked. So you've got a left um, guitar and a right guitar, and also some uh, post processing on them. So I just went back and did extra um, EQ, you know, tweaks and stuff. So you guys can hear what they sound like. So thanks for watching guys, and um, if you have any comments, you know, any questions, just leave it down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.